So I've just put in this carcass thing in, and I thought, uh, actually, I'll show you how to put this top bit in uh, up here based on this bit we've got here. So I'll get rid of that grid line. Now it comes down 178 and it comes uh, in four, uh, 340 something. So I'll just assume it's 354, I think it was. So 354, enter, that's how far it's coming out. And coming down, it was um, 200 and something. So I'll just call it 203, I think it was. Doesn't matter if it's not those sizes, but uh, I'm just gonna show you a method of getting this thing that we've made up to the underside. We'll rescale it. Um, or we move it in anyway, and we'll flip it as well. So just quickly select that. Because we're starting to use uh, groups or components, selecting objects is much, much simpler. So we can now click on this with the Move tool. So M on the keyboard for the Move tool. Let's just pop down to that back corner. Whoops, just hit Escape and reselect it. So tap the Control key to make a copy of it. So we'll take that up to the underside. Now you notice that it's upside down we want really to flip it over so that's exactly what we're going to do right click on it flip along and as we were going up the blue axis we'll click on the blue direction so that flips it so we now got our boards facing the right way round now we could scale this but if we are trying to take um, cut sizes off of this thing then we don't really have that option so all we need to do is to select these things and that and we'll move those in to this line so again M for move click on the outside face and as long as we're on the right axis so we're on the green axis shift key to lock out we'll just line up with that edge there so that's that bit done this bit can then move in Again, tracking along the green axis until we line up with that point. So that's that bit done. This bit we'll then move in. So again, move that along to this point. So make sure again you're on the green axis. And lock out with the shift key and then you can just move up to the face of this. And that's that bit done. The final bit is to double click one of these. Use the push pull and line it up with the back edge face like that. So that comes in at that point. And then hit the escape key, triple click, P for push pull, and double click this face, and that will send that back the same distance. And keep doing that. I could have scaled these, I'll be honest with you, because it's not affecting the actual length of it, or well, not the cross sectional area of it anyway, let's say. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you that double clicking of the push pull and how useful that is as well. So we've got all our carcassing in. We're now going to put in our 12 mil cladding. And again, this is very simple, but if we're going to use um, cut sizes for sort of quantities later, we kind of need to make this like it would be a board. So I'll go to my cladding. Uh, I haven't got a cladding, so click on plus and cladding. Make sure that's active and I'll choose maybe a brighter color, that pink color, that'll do. It just basically, it's not a representative of the finished color, it's just so I can quickly see um, everything's on the correct layers. So again, the rectangle tool, lots of things are rectangle in the construction industry. And go to this side and just pop that up to that point. P for push pull, 12, enter. So that's our 12 mil clad on that. Triple click, right click, make a group, and then we can M for move, click the plus, or the control key to make a copy of it. And now we can't see that face, so I'll X for X-ray, and I should be able to then see that cross there, so I can rotate that through 90 degrees, X for X-ray to get out of it. And then click on this bottom corner and make sure that goes to there. Then I might as well, it's easier to push pull forward than it is back, so I'll click on this corner and drive that in, make sure I've got the shift key locked down and I can just hover over this face, click, and then double click, P for push pull, and bring that back to this face there. So let's 
carcassing for that bit, or cladding for that bit, should I say. I need to do a similar thing there and carcass out this bit, and I'll come back to you in a short while.